Hello, John Talley here with Boats.net, and as you can see, I've been doing a little bit of work on our 2003 Yamaha T60 outboard lower unit. But guess what? All that work is done, and now it's time to get it remounted to the power head. It's not that tough to do, just some basic hand tools and certain torque figures, and we can get it reinstalled. So let me go open up my toolbox, and we'll get this thing remounted. Step number one, we need to make sure that we're in neutral because we have moved this around a pretty good bit, and we are. So I can spin the uh, output shaft and we're good to go. Otherwise, you need to bring your shift shaft over into the neutral position. But we do want to go ahead and grease our shaft splines up top, our shift shaft and then just a little bit on this water tube input right there. All right, guys, just make sure you've got at least one of the mounting bolts nearby because once we get it slid up in there, well, you're going to have to have this within arm's reach. Otherwise, well, you can guess what would happen. Let's hold and get our speedo tube in place. And just slide it down over the barb. Finish bringing it up. And when you're doing this, if you have to force it, you're doing it wrong. And your mounting bolts are 14 millimeters. The exterior ones, anyway. So it's time to get them torqued, and we need to take them to 29 foot-pounds. But the question is, how are you going to fit a torque wrench up in there? Well, you can't. But let me show you a special tool that we can use that can reach in there and accomplish this. This little gadget right here will take a 3 8 input and you actually attach it to a regular box wrench. And now you take a torque wrench, put it into here, and reach in there and torque it. But here's the trick. You need to be at 90 degrees, otherwise you have to compensate for your angle. But as long as you're at 90 degrees with this, it doesn't matter what the distance is. So we're going to set this to 29 foot-pounds. Got one hidden up in here. We're going to take this one to 18. And it is a 12 millimeter head. Now we just need to take care of our trim tab. And you notice that I made a couple of marks when I took this off to where I can get it back in the same position. We're going to take it to 18. You should be ready to head back to the water with yours. Me, I've got a little bit more work to do on this one. Well, listen, if you need any parts or tools for your boat, why don't you come see us at boats.net and we can get you taken care of. If you have any questions or comments, leave them in the section below and I'll do my best to answer them. We just want to say thank you for shopping here with us at boats.net and we will see you in the next video. Y'all have a great day.